I have reviewed many Bluetooth speakers and most of them come from emerging brands. Not today. Today I have the absolute pleasure to bring you the Bose SoundLink Max. If you're like me, the first thing you asked yourself is can I use the SoundLink Max as a speakerphone? No! With a name like Bose, this speaker must have an insane RGB lighting system, right? No! What about FM radio or TF card support? No and no. Wait a minute, so you're telling me that the Bose SoundLink Max does less than the competition and costs more? No! What I'm saying is if you are looking for a Bluetooth speaker that cares nothing about gimmicks and only about sound engineering, Bose SoundLink Max is the answer. The Bose SoundLink Max is rugged. Anything that's a speaker grill is metal. Anything that's not a speaker grill is rubber, except for the handle, that's rope. But the point is, this thing can take a beating, but you won't want it to because it's your baby. Everything about this is different. I mean, check out this power button. Battery full. It's a single press. You're not long pressing to turn power on. The buttons work a little bit differently than you're probably used to. There's the power button that does exactly what you would expect. The Bluetooth button that switches between Bluetooth sources. This is a shortcut button that's user defined and you configure that in the app. There's volume down, volume up, and then the play pause. When you double click that, it advances to the next track. If you triple click it, it will go to the beginning of the current track or to the previous track. There are two ports on the SoundLink Max. There is the three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port and the USB-C charging port, which doubles as a power bank port. What you don't see is one of those rubberized plugs that goes over the ports. Does that mean that this is not waterproof? Bose claims the SoundLink Max is IP67 waterproof. And as much as it pained me to do so, I filled the sink with water and put this in. And sure, it floats, but that's not what IP67 means. IP67 means that I can submerge the speaker for 30 minutes. So I held this thing down with weights and it never skipped a beat and I pulled it out and it sounded just as beautiful. But remember, there is no cover on this port, but what the SoundLink Max does have is moisture detection circuitry. So it will tell you, do not charge this while there's water in the port. What about an equalizer? Yes, the SoundLink Max does have an equalizer, but you can't access it from the device itself. For that, you have to go to the app. It offered to download the app as soon as I connected the speaker. Now, it's not the first time I've seen that, but I'm still impressed. On the app, you see a picture of the speaker, the current battery level. You can set the volume here. Uh, you can change what the shortcut button does. You can set the equalizer. Now, it's only a three band equalizer, but honestly, that's probably enough. Uh, there are some presets here, but it's it's not like the standard where I want to listen to rock music or jazz music or whatever. You're just playing with the, the sliders. If there was a firmware update, the app would let you know and allow you to upgrade. I like having all these lesser used functions available on the app so you can just set it and forget it without having unnecessary buttons on the device. It takes five hours to charge and you will get 20 hours of usage at 65% volume if your equalizer is flat and you're not using the power bank features. Uh, believe me, 65% volume is probably much louder than you want anyway. Not because it doesn't sound good, but because this is loud. Another feature you might be wondering about is TWS mode, true wireless stereo. Does the Bose SoundLink Max support TWS? No, not exactly. It does support something called grouping. And if you have other Bose smart speakers, you can define a group and have them all play the same thing. It's not stereo, but I'm sure it sounds awesome. Ultimately, you want to know how does the speaker sound? Would it surprise you to know? Incredible. Go to YouTube and look up Triboss AquaDrop. This speaker had absolutely no trouble playing that, and it sounded fantastic. With any speaker, I experiment with speaker positioning in the room and the sweet spot for the listener. And normally I put a speaker in the corner or on the floor or 
suspended or whatever. I'm trying to accentuate the best parts of the speaker and de-emphasize the worst parts. With the Bose SoundLink Max, the sweet spot is right in front of the speaker. This speaker is not big. Look at it in relation to my shoe. It's, it's smaller than my shoe. But when you're sitting right in front of it, it sounds like there are left and right speakers placed six feet apart with a center channel and a subwoofer. I am not kidding. So in case you're wondering, is Bose simply a brand name or is the SoundLink Max an incredible piece of audio engineering that's completely worth the money? It's worth the money. It's hard for me to imagine anybody else making a speaker this small that sounds this big, but that's my challenge to you, other speaker manufacturers. Be better than Bose. I don't think you can do it. This is a five out of five speaker. This is a 5,000 out of five speaker. I love this speaker. Thank you, Bose, for making this speaker. We'll see you next time.